Hello everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. Last time we left off, uh, Matt almost died, and we built a barn for some of our animals. We are currently building a few more sarcophagi. We are getting our plants all set up to be grown because it is the 13th of winter, so it will start warming up pretty soon. Everything else is doing well. Murray is still a little injured from her botched surgery, which I think is funny because in her social, she kind of dislikes Matt because he botched her surgery. I still do not know how he fucked that up, but let's continue for now. So currently I am going to be trying to keep these episodes to around... 45 minutes, so hopefully that should be good if anyone has any suggestions, whether it be length of the videos, the uh, sound, or anything like that. I really appreciate any comments like that to help me out. But if you don't want to comment, you don't have to, and that is completely fine. Currently we have some chicks going. This little hen is almost grown. And once we have three or four chicks, I think I will slaughter the rooster. Taz is going to have her puppies soon. She is in late stage pregnancy. And we still have our boar, who doesn't have a name yet. But currently, I think we're doing pretty good. I think someone is hunting deer? He's going after the llamas, which is fine. Uh, we could get rid of some of the trees in our area, but I'm not really too keen on doing that. We are almost, almost done with our research for Murray. I actually think that I might set up another grow zone, just so when winter comes we have plenty of food. That's not a good grow zone. Let's do it right here. So... We can do more rice. Rice seems to be one of the faster growing plants. What the hell is going on here? Taz has given birth. So we have Quirk. We have a trader coming in. Did we only get Quirk? Yep, she only had one puppy, which is fine. A little male husky named Quirk. Which I'm pretty happy about. Okay. So we have these all set up. We might be running a little low, yep, on steel. And we have 25 components. So not too bad, but also not too good. Okay. So Emily is chopping down trees and doing that stuff. Quirk needs to be assigned to an area. He's fine. So the barn animals are just going to wander around out here. I actually think I'm going to change their uh, zone a little bit. Just so uh, they're not constantly going in here. That's the wrong one. Animal, nope. Animal, barn animals, there we go. That way they're not really wandering around in here too much. And I will eventually set this up so it's a little nicer. I think this is shallow water, yeah, so I don't know if we can build over that or not. So I think I will actually build a wall, if I can, here, not the prettiest area for them, but they can deal with it. The terrain can't support that. Well. There. Cancel that. Emily is probably going to trap herself in, as they usually do. Really one of the more annoying things about the colonist. And here come some traders, so I'm gonna get Murray to come over here and talk to Georgette. Okay. So let's see what they have. Uh, we can trade pistol and a great bow, but we might eventually use those. 
But we can definitely trade away some of these shoddy. Um, I think I'll keep good. I don't know if normal is better than good or not. Eh. Mm, decisions. Sell that, sell that. We'll keep the plasteel knife. They have co six components, a couple of prosthetics and bionics, but I don't think we're going to go for those right now, so I think we're just going to go for the uh, extra silver. We have one llama down, soon to be chopped up. The muffalo is wandering. Yeah, Emily, just don't get trapped. That's all I ask. And I think we are actually going to build a little bit of uh, flooring in here. Just to make it nice and cozy. Probably a waste of material, but... Ooh, we have family. A town guard, sister of villager Emmy. Okay. And I think I'll also get a little light going in here. That way they're not in complete darkness all the time. Standing lamp. Let's get it right here. That's good for me. We have two chicks, one hen. I think the muffalo is eating some of the rice, but that's okay. Most people are going to bed. I don't think I have a bed for Quirk, but he should be okay for now. We have little skeletons, a bunch of dead bodies, beavers again! <sighs> These fucking beavers. All of the beavers. Kill them. Kill the beavers. They are really becoming a pain in my side. But they are food. Look at all these dead bodies. <laughs> oh well. Um, let's see. I think I will actually build another room right here. So we'll go for granite, since we seem to have quite a bit of it. Right there. And a couple of doors. That is going to bother me, so don't do that. It was not even with that door. Looks good to me. And this will be like our constructing and craft room, and this will be our trade and research room. That way they can have little stockpiles and be able to go and grab stuff, probably from over here, a little quicker than going all the way around and picking it up. So here's a geothermal that we're going to eventually use, and down here, but Murray really needs to uh, get that going for us. I'm also going to have them mine a little bit more in this direction which will be extra rooms for any incoming colonists it is 67 so that's pretty warm this was a good investment to keep them nice and happy they are getting that done, and I think I will assign a few more trees to be chopped down. Whee. Okay. I'm just going to do the ones inside of our immediate base for now. There. Okay. All of our traps are functional. Oops, someone is building something. I think it is keys building some of those floors. 
I'm gonna speed it up since not too much is happening right now. Okay. Our little puppy Quirk is just wandering around. And I'm also going to have them mine this area. Now I know that there is a risk of there being a hive showing up, but um, I think we'll be okay. Keys has named Wild Boar One Brandy. So our boar finally has a name, which is nice. It's been without a name for a while. We have a couple of chickens wandering around, which will be nice because they lay eggs. So I'm going to make sure that they can't pick that one up. That way it hatches into another chicken and then we will kill the rooster. Because I'm not really interested in getting fertilized eggs because I don't want them to hatch while we are uh, waiting to cook them. And we have four beavers, it seems, left to uh, demolish. So everything is going pretty well. We have quite a bit of steel over here. I'm actually going to remove this floor over here and see if we get any extra steel from that because I know that those floors are made of metal. All right, so come on, Murray. We have quite a few meals kicking around. Someone is slacking a little bit on the cleaning. And it seems like our muffalo are really eating a lot of the rice. They should be eating the uh, hay grass, but it doesn't seem like they're too interested in doing that. Oh well. And then we'll have more rice in here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have any actual food to be feeding them right now, so they are munching away on some of our plants, which is okay with me because we're going to have plenty. But we also have some damn beavers. So the beavers have struck again. Every time. We have quite a few deer over here. And I only see two beavers left. And some steel, which is great. So I will unmark those. Some skins around here. And when we are built up and everything, I think we will definitely try to uh, go for this area because I know that there's an ancient danger in there, which is probably a mechanoid, which can kick our ass pretty easily. But I would rather have a, a little bit more defense and weaponry. So it doesn't seem like you actually get any metal from destroying the floors, which is unfortunate. That is still allowing dead bodies and rotten. It's raining quite a bit. Foggy rain. Geothermal power has finally been researched. Okay, so let's get another thing up. I think I'm gonna go for TV because I'll be able to put television in this room when they're getting their medical treatments and they'll be a little bit happier when they are bedridden because they'll be able to watch some TV. Now, let's finally get a geothermal up. Even though we don't have enough steel for it at the moment. They can haul it in, damn it. And since the TV doesn't take too long, I will go for um, electric smelting afterwards so that we can get some steel from all of the slag chunks around here which will be nice. And the muffalos continue to eat our food. Not, not great. Oh well. We have a bunch of milk though. 
and we're getting some rice. So I think we'll be okay. Because now they set out some rice for them to eat. Alright, so it seems like we are out of wood. And therefore can't build those. Okay. People just haven't gotten there yet. We are getting a little bit of steel hauled in. Yep, she's picking them up. And I think I'm going to uh, assign a little bit more steel to be mined out. We have a raid. Okay, let's see. They will prepare for a while and then attack. So let's see what their side they're coming from. Um, I think they're going to go this way. So I am going to get this prepared for battle. Toggle power. And I think we will turn this light off. And this light off. Just so we save a little bit of power before they attack. So, Wolf, I am going to go have you prioritize flicking switches. That way, when they come to kick our butts, we are prepared. And I just realized there is a bunch of paint still on my desk, so let me wipe that up. I was painting earlier, and I got a new watercolor set, and I guess the uh, pen I was using leaked a little bit, which is okay, but not great. Wolf is turning off all of those switches, which is great, and I think they're going to be coming this way. It is the, the nearest path, I'm hoping, but it's <laughs> two in the morning. Let's see which way they're going. Half of them are going each way. So, Wolf. Okay, we are going to toggle that. And flick that switch. So, we have three coming on the bottom. And four coming from the top end. So, we are definitely going to be draining some power right now. I'm going to get all of our people up and ready. So, everyone come to the hallway. Brega is going back down. I think they'll be taken out by our defensives before they even get to the turrets, so that's good. But if not, I'm going to have pause it, have Wolf come up here, and have Matt come here. Okay, so we got two down. He's gonna make it through. It's getting a little bit hit. We have two more coming in through this way. He is down. And they are fleeing. So I'm now going to have you designate power. And everybody is free. Okay, so that turned out pretty well. I'm really excited to have this up because once it is, we won't have to worry about power as much because it creates a lot of power. We have lots of bodies and lots of weapons. That's fine, we have some shoddy weapons. Okay, so that is all fine and dandy. Emily is repairing that wall. I'm gonna need to get another door in. Because I don't know why, but they decide to uh, smash my doors when they come through. Emily is going to haul some steel. I am going to have these lights turned back on. That one I can leave off, that's fine. And we have uh, this guy up here with some food, which is fine. Emily is coming back with some steel. 
we have quite a bit of steel left to put in there, but hopefully we will have enough to get it done. Because we're definitely low on power. Slowly building up some connecting. But right now, definitely not enough. There is a mountain lion down here, probably hunting some squirrels. We have 200, so we only need 200 more. Uh, definitely not going to have 200 from there. Um, this is all fine. Quirk is wandering around. So definitely need them to mine a little bit more steel. So I'm going to uh, get them to cancel these projects and set their mining a little bit higher. So for two of them, they'll be a little bit higher on mining. Okay. We have a bear and some llamas. But I think we took care of all of the gosh darn beavers. And let's see, we have a chick. This egg has not yet hatched. Quirk is wandering around still. We have some trees that need to be cut down, so I'm going to have them. You can also plant cut mat. How close are we? 292 out of 400, and then we need 8 components. So, a little ways away, but I am so excited to finally have geothermal because that's going to help us a lot. Matt has broken down due to his dementia. Poor Matt. He's no longer confused. And I am drinking boiling root beer. It's actually really good. I am quite a fan of root beer. I've tried probably, I don't know, 12 different like draft craft kind of root beers in a few months. And that's probably one of the better ones. So if you ever see it lying around in store, I'd pick it up. It's a little expensive, but um, most of these special craft root beers are, but that's just the way things are. And honestly, I'd probably go over and get a just regular root beer before I picked up an actual beer. Because I am 21, but uh, sometimes you just want a nice sweet little root beer. We finally have our geothermal power up, so that is fantastic. It outputs 3,600 watts, and it's a constant power, so that is fantastic. Definitely not going to have to worry about power for a while. Okay, so people are still supposed to be mining steel, but they're not doing that yet, and people really need to uh, rearm traps. Rearm, please. <sighs> rearm all of these, come on. So they've all been set to be rearmed, but no one's really gotten around to it yet. Oh well. Fire. Where? Eh. Not a big deal. And we have this room all set up, so let's see. Let us move. Well, we just have to deconstruct it, I guess. That's fine. Production, let's get a stone cutter's table. Sure, why not? And we should get a lamp in here. Get a little bit of power conduits going 
That's gonna make me insane if I do it that way. And we have a trader coming in. So I will have that. So they are coming to trade with us, which is great. We have three chicks now, so I think I am going to slaughter the rooster. He's done a good job, but I don't think we need him anymore. And there is the traders. They have some of those damn beavers with them. We don't take kindly to beavers. Okay, so let's go talk to them. Okay. Toll. Riadra has a cool hat. Okay, so we can sell a bunch of our stupid clothing, which is great. I don't think I'm actually going to, uh, let's get quality. We will keep the, um, uh... no, we don't want tribal wear. Polar bear skin, huh. Tribal wear is kind of meh. Anything below 50% I want to get rid of because they get a negative 68 is kind of pushing it. Poor, get rid of it. Shoddy, get rid of it. Awful, sell it. Wait, no, components, we want. So they have 19, we have 23. I guess we could sell the rooster. Yeah, let's let's sell the rooster before he gets slaughtered. A mega screen TV? That's expensive. And they have thrumbo horns. We sure don't. And a psychic insanity lance? Huh. Anyway, so that'll be good. Our chicken has been spared his life. You're lucky, Mr. Rooster One. Lucky. And they also have beavers. I don't like beavers. I think I also bought their uh, components. Yeah. That's good. And we can have all. Oh, we're getting raided again. So a group of pirates, and they are on the bottom left. So I think I will just switch both of these on. So I'm gonna slow everything down. Uh, designate toggle power, and here. And anybody that's awake should go and do that. So Murray's got that one. It's really nice to have that geothermal up because that is going to save us so much power. Okay, so we also have a mad animal. I don't care about that right now. Oh, I guess it's dead. Okay. Murray, are you going to go flick that? Nope. Uh, disease, sensory mechanic, mechanites. Wolf has sensory mechanites, okay. So, not gonna worry about that right at this moment. Everyone is getting hauled, which is great. And I think we can actually get, um, Murray to go talk to Toll again so we can sell some of these clothes that we just got on the uh, dead people. Also, that's shoddy. I don't want it. Okay, so again, we can sell some of our Excellent. I still don't want tribal wear. Tribal wear. Tribal wear. Tribal pants. I will keep the pants. We got some parkas. Tribal wear. Hmm. Quirk does not sell for much right now. Poor little Quirk. He's not valued. I value him. He's a good little puppy. So, research-wise, I think I'm going to go for electric smelting. 
That scared me. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> Wolf, I would much rather you have in here. My ear itches like crazy. Taz is going to uh, go do that. So animals, let's pause. Pause for a second. Um, Taz, I want you indoors, 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 and indoors. Everybody else, I am going to draft. Get in here. Yeah, so they're going both ways, which is fine. They're definitely going to have a problem with these guys. I thought my uh, headphone wasn't working. It's fine. Okay, so Wolf, I'm going to have you come up here. And Matt, I'm going to have you come down here. And they're already fleeing, so never mind. Go do what you were doing. Strip. And we got a shoddy rifle from it, which I appreciate. And what else did we get? We got a awful pistol. And some grenades. And a great bow? Nope. I think he is actually wearing a uh, armor. Little armor vest that only my melee characters are going to be allowed to wear. And these guys definitely also need to be uh, stripped of their clothing. Which is nice because once they are taken off we'll be able to trade again with these people. They have six milk. Cargo pods, where did they land? And we got a bunch of iguana skin. Okay. So I think our animals will actually be getting some uh, iguana skin beds. Because I don't really want it. I don't think we want uh, iguana skin beds right now. History. I don't care. Oh, okay. Combat supplier. A trade ship is passing by. Okay. So, Murray, sorry to wake you up again, but I would like for you to contact him. And then they're going to make these beds. So. I like that. They'll be in rows of three. We probably don't have enough iguana skin for that, but whatever. Uh, we have a bunch of frag grenades. I don't want to sell. I mean, I don't want to buy that. We are not going to be selling those. They will buy our marble club. No thanks. And our plasteel knife. So they're not really selling much. I will definitely take the uh, component, though. Because that tends to help. We have some awful pants. What does it want? Like, okay, I learned it. There. There. Happy now? Happy now, computer? We have a little bit of blood. That's fine. Some rice. And we have our chickens. So, now that we don't have... Well, that one is still fertilized, so that's a little unfortunate. Oh well, we'll have another chicken. And, since that has been done, I think I'm going to get a chair. Just so they're comfortable while working. What other production things? I guess we can start doing, um, sculpting. They are leaving. Good. Good riddance. 
and I will get a zone stockpile right here. Not a tortoise. So I don't want anything rotten, I don't want any corpses, I do want chunks though. So they should do that and I will put it as preferred priority. That way they can fill that up with some of these chunks. And these chunks would be great if they actually got rid of them. Okay. So this is all fine and dandy. They are continuing to make iguana beds for our animals. Because it's unlikely that we're ever going to have an iguana that lives in here. So it's not like sleeping in the corpses of your brother. Which would be a little bit awkward for the muffalo, I would assume. Be like, oh yeah, that was Jerry. You know. It's okay though. Jerry didn't make it, but... They sure did, and now they get free food, and milked, and shaved for their wool. Only Muffalo 1 has milk, but whatever. We've gotten six of them so far. That egg, unfortunately probably going to make it. That one as well. Well, it's not too unfortunate, but still, I didn't really want more chickens. We already have plenty, but if they hatch, I will just slaughter them for meat. Because, you know, whatever. That's how we do it in America. It's actually really sad to see because when I'm driving, I occasionally see the, uh, a muffalo is pregnant. Okay. I occasionally see the trucks filled with chickens, and there are a lot of chickens. Just imagine a semi-bed filled with chickens. From bottom to top. Pretty sad, but uh, that that's how you eat food. So what is Wolf up to? He is consuming a simple meal. Not sure why you just don't haul it, but whatever. He is cooking some food, harvesting some plants. Good on him. Good on him. We definitely need to get hauled clothing out of here. Yeah, they're, it's not technically allowed. This is going great. The uh, combat supplier has left comms range, and Muffalo 1 is pregnant. It's going by pretty quickly. I think, like, the useful animals, like dogs, have quite long pregnancies. I wonder if I could make that out of granite. Well, it doesn't matter now. So I will actually have someone start making some uh, small sculptures. Do until you have, um, let's go, eight is fine. Not gonna do it out of silver, gold, jade, uranium, or wood, or plasteel, or steel. So just out of stone. I'll also get them a chair. A little wooden dining chair. Because when I am sculpting, I would like a chair. Actually, I don't even like sculpting, but uh, oh, I didn't want them to move that. Oh well. Uh, when I was in high school as well as some of college, I was in six different ceramics classes, but for the last two it was mostly just uh, like throwing. But in high school, it was mostly um, hand construction because our school was cheap and never fixed the uh, throwing wheel. So unless you wanted to kick it by foot, you uh, had to do everything else by hand. Which is fine. I made some pretty cool stuff that I'm quite happy with. I have a, uh, a bunch of bowls and uh, I actually had a cat bowl that my cat used until 
she passed away. But, uh, yeah, it was, it's really pretty. I think I still have it somewhere. It's like a bluish gray, and it has different patterns on it and stuff. And it was funny, in college, uh, my second ceramic class, for our final, we all had to make teapots, and we all turned up on the last day with our teapots, and everyone else's was like these big fancy teapots. One girl had hers that looked like a monkey, and I show up with this little tiny teapot. It looked like a Chinese teapot, and... It couldn't even pour a full glass of water. It, like, got maybe three ounces of water out of it. But I tried my best. And it looked pretty, so... I guess that's all the teacher asked for. It wasn't very functional. Um, I really don't want milk in there. Animal products, it's not allowed. still have plenty of energy. That is good. I wonder if I can finally move this. I can't actually move it. Nope. So I can't move those, which is unfortunate. I think I'm going to move this one, though, and get another bed, just in case we take a prisoner. Mm. Furniture, wood, we got some more cargo pods falling down from the sky. Let's see. Um, human meat. Disgusting. I mean, if you didn't know it was human meat, I don't think- is that bunny eating it? No. <laughs> I don't think you would really know that you were eating human unless someone actually said something to you. Be like, hey buddy, did you know you're eating uh, Paul right now? And then you would be disgusted. But before that, I'm sure you would... Alpacas! Again? We got three more alpacas. Okay, and I am playing this on, uh... Rough. So I'm kind of surprised that nothing terrible has happened so far. But I think I'm definitely going to have to start building up, uh... Some more defenses... So I'm going to uh, get some sandbags. I don't have enough steel for them, but it's fine. That way it takes a little longer for them to actually get to. And hopefully saving the uh, turrets from any injury. We got potatoes and all that good stuff coming in. Those alpacas are very large compared to those trees. And the growth isn't anything right now because the sun is going down by sun. And we have almost full batteries, which is awesome. And Brandy the pig is just being a pig. How's her training going? Completely trained on hauling, so let us get her or is it a him? Brandy. Female. So her. Let's get her trained on... Stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. They're visiting Gil. It's still cool in there, so I don't have to, uh... No! We got another chicken! Damn. It's a male chick! Ugh. I didn't want a male chicken. Oh well. We'll sell him eventually. And we have unfertilized chicken eggs. Which look absolutely disgusting in the picture. Ugh. A little bit like mushrooms. I really don't like mushrooms. They creep me out. We have that going. I don't think anyone is assigned to work art. So Emily, you're not good for much else. Weaver, jump to location. They have quite a few people. So maybe we will be able to sell our newfound male chicken to them. But for now, that will do it for this episode of RimWorld Alpha 13. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please 
leave a like if you have anything to say please leave a comment that's the timer and uh, if you want to see more please subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day